And you can see where it's starting to come through the trend line. See this here? I don't want that. It has to sit in here to give me a nice pull. So anyways, this has to sit down in here because every time this comes down here, I have to decide, okay, do I take the L? Do I let it work? Do I let it come back up to this state? And again, because I'm in here, I, I, I shouldn't be worrying this long and I shouldn't be in, in this trade this long, right? That's why I don't like entering at the wrong time. You enter at the wrong time, you have to start making too many decisions. You start making too many decisions because you're on the wrong side of the trade. It can get some of you guys into big trouble, right? You would hold this thing till the cows come home, lose every cent instead of taking an L. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> yes, sir. playing with my emotions and I'm not even in a trade. Yeah, you'd be like, but I think it could possibly at some point throughout the next eight hours come back. You see how this is popping up? That's dangerous. You see this? Sorry. Yeah, this is dangerous territory right here, ladies and gentlemen. This has to pull. And I told you guys, it keeps popping through. It did it here. It did it here. It just did it here. You see them? It's got to fade. If not, I'm going to take like a 5 or 6K L on it. Minimum, if it decides to pop through. Because remember, VWAP is the last stop. See it right here? Look at this, right? This is what Jimmy would call his vortex. You see how it's coming down here to here. This is the, this is the area. See it getting smaller. So you had buyers that pushed this candle up. Then you had a doji, which should have spelled reversal, which means everybody started selling right here. And then it just spiked up to the upside anyways. Right? So especially in pre-market, I'm really just paying more attention to volume coming in. How much is it working? What kind of news catalyst was it?